<laughs> Hello folks and welcome to Son of Dell's Vlogmas 2021 Day 12. Um, it's gone really really quick so far, I can't believe I'm halfway through it. Coming up on today's vlog, I've got the advent calendars for Day 12, which is obviously the, let me get this in the right order, Beer 52, followed by the Queen, followed by Elemis, followed by Luke Fantastic, and then the Doggy Advent Calendar. I've also got my fourth, is it fourth or fifth now? Fourth. My fourth Christmas jigsaw complete, and I'll also be counting down my top ten Christmas number ones, dating back over the last 40, 50 years, whatever it's been. So all that to come, but coming up first, the Advent Calendars. Door 12 of the Beer 52 advent calendar, or what's left of it anyway. Oh, you burn it. I think I can get my hand in and get that one. <laughs> I'm going to cheat. Door 12. <laughs> I love the name of it. It's, I'll tell you the brewery first. It's, uh, da, 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 da. hang on. Oh, we don't seem to have a brewery. Hand brewed in Scotland is all it says. Oh, Fierce Bear, Aberdeen. And it's called Caramel Mousse. And it is a, if I'm not mistaken, chocolate, does it say? Yeah, chocolate caramel stout. Chocolate caramel stout, and it's 4.5%. And it's made in Scotland. So, caramel mousse, the chocolate and caramel stout, is number 12 in the Beer 52 advent calendar. Here we go, door 12 on the Justice League of America coin advent calendar. Which I must say, it's a lot easier to get into than the beer one. And I've got, oh, it's my ultimate favourite. Deb knows that. It's Harley Quinn. Definitely Harley Quinn. I like Harley Quinn and Joker. They're my two favourite characters. So Harley Quinn is in door 12 of the Justice League of America Queen Advent Calendar. Twelve. That's the third time you've asked me that today. <laughs> uh, Comes door? after eleven, before where's, thirteen. Where's door I can see it. I oh, know. I can't. That's twenty-two. I don't know. Uh, Is it on one of the outside? I have found it. Yeah. I thought it might be on the outside. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> it's like Louie really then. That was funny. That was. No, I didn't know I can't get it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I've got it. Got it. I think. What have you done with this one, Deb? Pause. Oh, what's in the bag today? What we got? What is it today? Oh, it's the steaks or lamb chops or whatever it is. And the dog's interested. Look. You're brave. <laughs> You're very brave. 
Yum. <laughs> oh no, thanks. Anish, sweetie, Anish. Oh. Papa. Papa. Can you tell me? Gentle. Good girl. Oh, she swallowed it. All gone. All gone. All gone. All gone. That's it. No more. All gone. Yes, all gone. All gone. 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 <laughs> yes, done. Gone. All gone. All gone. Gone. No more. All gone. All gone. Now, last year on my vlog, I did my countdown of my top five Christmas songs. Well, this year, I'm doing my countdown of my top ten Christmas number ones over the last 40 or odd years, whatever's been going. Now, in at number ten is a song which was originally done by Tears for Fears. And it was a really, really up-tempo, fast song. And when it was released in this particular year, it was done really, really slow. Uh, it spent three weeks at number one, and it was by people I'd never heard of at the time, called Michael Andrews and Gary Jewels. And the song is Mad World, which was number one for Christmas 2003. And that is my number ten. At number nine, I used to like when people used to bring out gimmicky songs for Christmas. And in 1971, a comedian bought one out, which was a really funny song, even though it's got nothing to do with Christmas. Now, he's more known for saucy comedy. Uh, that's what he's famous for, and he did a lot of TV shows and specials. And it was actually Ernie, the fastest milkman in the West, and it was by Benny Hill. And that was Christmas number one in 1971. And it stayed four weeks at number one. So, he must have been doing something right. So that was my number nine. Now, number eight. Now, this song I've heard by a couple of people within the space of a couple of years. Now, I heard it done by Yazoo, first of all, and I thought it was a brilliant song. And then I'd heard that this other group were going to do it, and that it was going to contain no music. All, all the sounds in it were done with voices. There was no musical instruments used, and I thought, well, this will be different. And it was actually very, very good. In fact, it was so good, it stayed five weeks at number one. And it's a song called Only You by the Flying Pickets. And it was actually Christmas number one in 1983. That makes me feel old. That's nearly 40 years ago. But yeah, that was my number eight. Only You, the Flying Pickets. Number seven. This group, again, is another group that's, um, th that was famous for another song. 
and it's been used for advertising Quality Street, the song that uh, they were famous for. But they also did this song and it was in 1968 and it was a group called The Scaffold and the song was Lily the Pink and it actually stayed four weeks at number one and it was Christmas number one in 1968 and that was my number seven. Number six, now I liked these, I liked their songs, they did some really really good songs and they were kind of at a rival group, they were a rival group at the time to take that and I liked some of their songs, some of them were really really good and this one made number one in 1994 and it stayed five weeks at number one and it's quite a sad song when you realise why it was written. Uh, Brian Harvey actually wrote this because he's, I think it was his brother that had passed away and it was Stay Another Day by 17 and that was my number six. Number five, um, I had to tell Deb actually that this had made number one, she didn't realise this. Now I like this group because they were progressive in the late in the 70s, late 60s, early, all the 70s and even into the 80s and they're still going now in some form or other. And I've, I love, love, love their albums, they've done albums comfortably numb, they've done Animals, they've done Dark Side of the Moon. And it's Pink Floyd with Another Brick in the Wall Part 2. And believe it or not, it was actually Christmas number one in 1979 for five weeks. That's how popular a song it was. And I remember in the video to The Wall, the actual DVD of The Wall, it was Bob Geldof who played the main part in that, which is kind of ironic when you think about it. Now, number four... One of my favourite groups of all time, really. Um, they actually released this song, and it's it's still it's still one of those songs that as soon as it goes into your head, you keep singing it. And it was four weeks at number one in 1987, and it was Pet Shop Boys, always on my mind. Uh, and again, I can't believe it's been so long since that was number one, to be honest. Now, ninety, uh, sorry, now number three. These are my top three now. Now, number three. Uh, is a song that's still sung nowadays. I mean, people still sing it at Christmas now. It's one of the most popular songs ever. You can't get to Christmas without somebody either putting a meme or, or a Facebook post about this particular song. And it, It's one of those songs that will always be around because it's Christmas through and through. And it was five weeks at number one in 1973. And it was actually Merry Christmas Everybody from Slade. And uh, it's just one of those songs that once it gets into your head, you can't get it out. And everybody always does the, it's Christmas. And like I said, there's always memes and Facebook posts with Noddy Older pointing at the screen saying, not till I say so. Because everybody associates, once they hear Merry Christmas, everybody, then it's Christmas officially. Number two. Now, I didn't actually realise this had been number one, but it had been number one twice but I picked the second one because of what it was number one with. It was basically a double A side. And it was uh, in 1991, which was very apt if you think of what happened in that year. And it was Queen with Bohemian Rhapsody slash Days of Our Lives. They actually bought it out as a double A side. And it stayed five weeks at number one. Five weeks at number one. And I still, again, it's hard to believe that He's been gone 30 odd years, you know, 30 years plus. And it's uh, it's just unreal. You know, Freddie Mercury was a legend, let's be honest. He was. He commanded the stage. And that song, Bohemian Rhapsody, that'll never be forgotten. And Days of Our Lives is a really poignant tribute to it, really. Now, my number one. Let's hear a drum roll. <laughs> Ta -da! It was done in 1976. It was Christmas number one in 1976 and the singer who sang it actually was more known for singing country songs. Mm, getting close. I bet you'll know who it is anyway. Uh, and it's my favourite song, uh, uh, to be honest, of Christmas number ones anyway. Um, it's, a, it's a song synonymous with Christmas. It's played on most Christmas albums. It's always in there. Um, I've seen Joe Pasquale do a complete Mickey take of it using Burning Candles. Um, and it's Johnny Mathis with When a Child is Born. And I just think it's one of those songs that every time you hear it, you sort of think, this. everybody wants that, you know, everybody wants this piece, everybody wants, you know, when war will be forgotten and, and mankind will live on forever in peace. But it's, it's one of those things that's more like a pipe dream, if you know what I mean. 
and that believe it or not is my number one Christmas number one single ever and it was 1976 and it was when a child is born Johnny Mathis so recap at 10 Mad World by Michael Andrews and Gary Jules at Christmas 2003 at 9 Ernie the fastest milkman in the West Penny Hill 1971 at 8 Only You the Flying Pickets 1983 at 7, Lily the Pink, The Scaffold, 1968. At number 6, Stay Another Day, East 17, 1994. At number 5, 1979, Brick in the Wall Part 2, Pink Floyd. At number 4, The Pet Shop Boys, Always On My Mind, Christmas 1987. At number 3, Merry Christmas Everybody, Slade. Five weeks at number one, by the way, I forgot to say that. And that was 1973. At number two, Bohemian Rhapsody, Days of Our Lives, Queen, was 1991, with five weeks at number one. And number one, my number one Christmas number one single, When a Child is Born, Johnny Mathis, 1976.